Moi, au Tegas, Doom, Do, Toy, Old Smile, Drown, how we doing? We're back in Me My Dad season. And we have, on the mound, we have Corey Kluber. And, ooh, we got Danny C. Yeah. Nothing really. Um, We have Corey Kluber on the mound. And then we have, for them, Anthony, never fucking heard of him. That's all I'm gonna say. Friday, I don't need to do any training because I'm feeling good about my demon. Yeah, um, so let's get this thing going. Scored no runs, I need. Here's the first pitch to him. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Mazzara moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for rat number one. Stepping into the box, Josh Harrison. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And that's high for a ball right. one and oh. And fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. Even after the victory last time out, they come in trying to turn things around as they've been slumping of late, winning in just three of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Harrison is in three, three balls, balls and a strike. And a strike. This is where if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot, and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible. As possible. Ah, damn it. Beltre waits on it. Two gone. Into the box, Aaron Judge. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. I'll take that. To center field. Pompey is going to have room out there as he puts Wait till that. Here's Miguel Sano. Set the push push ball. Ball. Yeah. For the second. No. First pitch of the at bat on its way. December. Now I'm saying. Now there is this is fouled away off to the right. Strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Sano is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage of over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs the bat. And Beltre throws on the first for the out. Now at the plate, Justin Bohr is ready for his first at-bat of his early season contest. First offering on its way. Strike one to start the at-bat. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit in the air to left field. And on the move. Right. Yep. He's there, but oh, he missed it. Dropped it. And he'll reach second now with one away. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Brings an average in the 260s into this one. First pitch coming, here it is. This is flared out towards second. And that's in there, oh, base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too much. That's lifted the other way out to left. Duvall waits on it, makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. The tag, and he is out at the play. All right. So Garcia, one for three back on Wednesday. Leori Garcia. The wind up and the 0 1. And that slider's almost in the dirt. And a fastball swung on and hit the second. And that's the first down. 
Digging in, Jason Castro is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. One and one to Jason Castro. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. He pulls this one into right. Mazzara back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Here's Byron Buxton now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. Rowley is under it, and that retires the side. Down go the Twins in order. We'll head to the four. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. A door under it to put it away for the first down. Here's big Aaron Judd. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their walks. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. I remember that guy. Three and deep, 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 deep. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Bouncer up the middle. Odor has it on the first, and there are two down. The number four Minnesota hitter, Miguel Sano. Got his dealer right now, I guess. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Nope. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. Baby, let's roll with it. Line drive to left. Duvall is there and he'll make oh, the catch to retire things out here in a tie ball game. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Owen won the count. Wind up and the 0 1. Pulled toward right center field. Pompey has a read on it. One down. We will end this. Kyle Seeger singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first oh, offering. As anticipated, yeah, it's a round ball down to the ball. right side. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. The now with the play, Jorge Polanco. Jorge Polanco. Here comes the first pitch. No balls in one strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Hit out towards second. Diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. You know, D-Roll, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk the home plate. You're scuffling so bad. Pompey is there, makes the catch in the side. Is in, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. Now a first pitch change up here. Too far inside, it's 1 and 0. And a fastball just a bit up. Catch up to a high fastball like that. It's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. And that one stayed up a little high. Line towards 
center field. And Castro's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Now to the plate, Byron Buxton. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Now a bunt attempt here. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Josh Harrison stands in. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. Castro leads off second with one gun in the inning. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Duvall is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Here's big Aaron Judge. Runner in scoring position. All right now. Uh, and ball four. Now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. Well, they felt it was better yeah, to take the bat out of the hands guy. of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Here's Miguel Sano. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better yeah, fortune here. Right now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Beltre is there. Yeah, got him. Hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Twin strand a pair, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. All right, now, how we on? In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara, and guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I would agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Justin Moore. What a shootout we have here. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Third baseman number 15, Kyle Seeger. One away, and here's the left-handed hitting third baseman, Kyle Seeger. First pitch, here it comes. Couldn't really get in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Back though. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. Who's on crack first? He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. Throw on the first will get him. Score it 5 3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Skied into very shallow right. Mazzara is there. And they go down in a hurry here as his side. And here. Still going. There's zero. Here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right Hold field. Mazzara facing back go on. to the track. And this one is gone. A home run. This is one of those situations you dream about when you're a kid. He steps up in a big spot and blasts his first home run of the year to take the lead. Storybook stuff has come to light. Eric Goodell is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Stepping in now, Jason Castro. Pompey has a read on it, and that's the first out of the inning. Now 
downtown. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Byron Buxton. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. First delivery to him on the way. Hit back up the middle. Sliding stop by Adore. He's out. Digging in now, Josh Harrison. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. One run, four hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Heading out towards shallow right. Mazar is under it. See they finish. Get going. And there, it falls in. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. Harrison takes the turn at third. He wants it all. But no, he'll put on the brakes and head back to third. In now, Aaron Judge. It's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. And that's too high, ball 2. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do? But that finds its way through for a base hit. In at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Now it would be the Minnesota DH. Miguel Sano. Boy, I tell you what, that's a big RBI late in the game here. They take a 2 0 lead, the The way the pitching's been for them tonight, they're sitting in a pretty good spot. Yeah, Dan, they've got great pitching all game long. And all that extra run can do is give you a little bit more confidence. You don't have to. Goodbye! And a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. The one-two is taken for ball two. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early, then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Line drive base hit. Oh. third base even with two away they didn't like their chances there I mean that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there you get him down 0-2 no put away pitch works the count back to neutral and is able to mix in a base hit nice job baby let's roll what the fuck have it thrown my fucking head outside for a ball one and one one I was a non friend, fan friendly. Swing and a liner into right center. That's going to be a base hit. Oh. Hey, D Row, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt as an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run push, it has to make it feel good. And it appears they're going to give them the intentional walk here, so now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. So coming to the plate, Jorge Polanco. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Barney moving to his left, and that ends the inning. Downtown St. Paul there, not far from... Will we win it? We'll find out. Yes, we will. We win. Five, zero. We're going to play the game. Get the different BFC. Hit that like button. Don't subscribe to the channel. Turn post notifications on. See you guys next time. Beep.